Hello and welcome. I'm Jenny Hall. Thanks for joining me for another card making tutorial. Today's project is part of the OSAT blog hop for the month of March. Be sure to visit my website at jennystampsup.com to see all of the projects. I'm stamping today with Magical Day Stamp Set. This stamp set has really done well this season and I'm making so many fun projects with all the different images. I'm going to color the mermaid image for my project. I've started out with a piece of thick whisper white cardstock and stamped in Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I'm coloring the mermaid with Stampin' Blend's alcohol markers. Alcohol markers work differently on paper than dye ink markers do. When the colors meet inside the paper, a wonderful blend happens and we get some really fun colors and a very nice perfect blend. I like to use a couple of different colors in a couple of different shades in order to get a desired look. The mermaid tail and body is created with some blue greens and greens and the mermaid hair is created with some oranges and a little bit of yellows and a red. The hair is not going to be one color in particular. Yes, that was my son Nate photobombing <laughs> with his macaroni and cheese. The mermaid's face and arms are colored in with a variety of the browns. I try to start with a darker brown and then I move over to the lighter shades for the inside portion of the face. That way there is a natural shadow effect that's created for the outside part of the face. That will help me to make some contours that would look natural in some sort of a three-dimensional being. To create some atmosphere around the mermaid on the card, I have lots of white space that needs to be filled in. I'm using the light and the dark shades of Pool Party ink in the Stampin' Blends and as I go, I'm starting out with the darker pool party up next to the mermaid's body and then using the color lifter out away from it. I'm not looking for a solid blend. Instead, I'm looking for a more modeled look. Underwater is never a solid. It's a constantly changing environment. So I thought this would be a nice way to feature the water that's surrounding the mermaid. I'm going to add a piece of this beautiful paper from Myth Myths and Magic DSP and add that to a piece of white. This is going to then also be raised on a white card base. Now I will have my mermaid partially on the DSP and partially off. So I'll put a few dimensionals to raise up the area on the right hand side of the circle to match the raised area of the left. For some interest and to draw the eye around the project, I'm using the tiny little bubble stamp in many different generations of ink. A different generation is achieved by first stamping and then using what's left on the stamp to get a lighter shade and it gets progressively lighter. It's a wonderful way to get a different shade of the same color. And what underwater mermaid would not be complete without some sparkly Wink of Stella clear pen? This really helps to set off the really nice areas of the card. The DSP has a shine on it already, and so now I've created a shine that goes out to the rest of the card as well. It helps to move the eye around. The inside of this card is going to echo the outside of the card, and I'm going to add some of these really wonderful 
epoxy, clear, and glitter shapes. On the mermaid, I chose to use just the clear so that they appear as if they're little bubbles. And on the outer part, I put the, the, um, the glitter bubbles because it, you know, it's just so much sparkle on the outside. So for the inside, we have those same bubbles mimicked. I also have created a 3D project to go along with my post today using some more of my son's Skittles. <laughs> I like to take their candy to create a 3D project. I've put it into a clear tiny treat box and there's more information on my blog about how I created that. Thank you so much for joining me today. All of the products that I've used today are listed in the video description down below this video. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate a subscription click. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day!